What's going on, YouTube? John here, and as you can hear, puppies! Alright, so we're here, and I have a Esper control list that we're trying out in the new Throne of Eldraine standard. So, our opponent in our first match is Cruzador89. Good luck, opponent. Let's see if I can actually have the overlay work. Um. Yeah, it's risky, but I'm going to keep it. Also, apparently I cannot figure out how to make this. Alright, we're going to be too late. I guess we're just not going to have an overlay, which is fine. Uh, we're going to opt here and step. Do they have... Alright, well that's fine. We have so many ways of dealing with uh, creature based Uh, D Spark seems like it's not going to be the best. We okay, also really need land. Land. Perfect. Uh, not going to do anything on two, so we're just going to play this tap. This turn. We're going to take a little bit of beatings, but that's fine. We have two absorbs to gain our life back. We're still missing black mana. We really need black mana for the so we belt on. Or this is like a bell pong, I should say, there's only one. Um, wow, really, opponents. You're gonna deal seven? Alright. One removal spell, though, and, uh, opponent is in sadness. Yeah, we're gonna hold up these two absorbs. Basically, no matter what they play, we're gonna absorb it here. Especially since we, can't, we have two of them. We'll take our beatings for one. Down to ten. Opponent doesn't play anything, that's also fine. Uh, yep, I'm going to Basically, we are on the nothing resolves plan here. <laughs> uh, so this turn will absorb again, obviously. And I think we'll God Eternal. Because I don't think they're gonna have they're gonna play that much removal. And they they're still one mana away from uh So we could drawn from dreams or God Eternal Captain. We'd have a board wipe for no matter in case they try to empty the board, so I think we're gonna draw them from dreams and see if we can hit some impactful cards here. There's a Kai's Wrath, an Elite Guard Mage, and an Enter the God of Turtles. So, we have 5 mana. I really want this Enter the God of Turtles. We already have a board wipe, so I don't want the Kai's Wrath. I think Elite Guard Mage for Tyrant Uh, I'm gonna take the Elite Guard Mage to redraw the card. So, yeah. Enter the God of Turtles will hit their next creature. Or, I guess this. We'll also be able to make a 4 4. Actually, never mind. I think we're gonna board play. That was terrifying. So, we're gonna be taking a lot of damage. It looks like they have another. Luckily, we have a time line. And we'll play up, try and tap. Let's turn. Luckily, we have a lead guard mage and absorbs and basilica bell on so we can start. Uh, In case we draw a, uh, that was definitely not what we wanted. <laughs> I would do, you know, Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. So they can kill our guard mage. Bring it. Get him. So now I really think we have to enter the God of Hell before we do any attacks. Kill the Yorvo. Oh, uh, we will make you. Know. 
We got rid of uh, a missile that can fix the world, so that was a nice one. We're just gonna play this tapped. So we're at six. <laughs> we're slowly regaining our health. This has to be a creature for them, or else their Vivian is gone. So you get a creature. So that's gonna be a three, three. Oh wow, that's actually gross. That's pretty good, actually. Why wouldn't you just uptick the Vivian and then grab the Growth Chamber Guardian? Although I guess this way... Oh wait, no, they can't even play it this turn. So never mind. So we can... My, my. Oh. How you've grown. 6-6. Six, six. We don't have anything right now that can deal with that either. Oh, never mind. Now we do. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, destroy that. So we can hold up the door for whatever they try to uh, play next. I know it's just gonna be one little mana dork, but the life game is just gonna be so crucial. Scott, I'm down. So close we can get the door. This way they have to take away the second one, they can't adapt it the same time either. Yep. Uh, would not be the worst. Specifically like Bell Haunt is uh, not the best right now. So we're definitely still on the defense. Absorb, so we might as well play this. We gain three more life now, come back up to twelve, and there's more blockers. So God Eternal Kefnet can start getting in next turn. I also feel comfortable enough drawing off of the uh, the Castle Block Flame, Block Queen, however you pronounce that. <laughs> in the tank. This has been a very interesting game, that's for sure. What are you going to do, opponents? I don't even know if I was really in the center of the frame there. I just realized that. I'm so good at doing this. They obviously can't attack. If they can... Adapt this, make it a 4 4. Either Kepnet eats it, or I can trade with the zombie army token. Honestly, it's an easy trade for Kepnet. So I wonder if opponent has just decided that they are done now. Also, these castles uh, have been fantastic. I love this rare cycle of lands. We're running uh, two Arden Bales, two of the blue castles, and one of the castle. Yeah, I'm actually kind of proud of this list. I, it took a while for me to kind of refine it, but I think this might be one of the better lists that I've come up with. We're running one magic mirror. There's a lot of one ofs in this deck. Uh, I found that it churns through cards so quickly that you can get away with running a couple of one ofs. Like Chemistry's in sight, we're only run, running one of. We're only running one of. Uh... Actually, I think we will. Lose it. Mainly because I want to see. I I want to. I'm probably going to cast this twice. So I'd rather just be able to... I know it costs two less, and it's still going to cost a blue, but now we have two options instead of one. And being able to filter through the deck, scrying is going to be really important here. Uh, if we can find another time wipe, that would probably be the best, because then we can bounce the covenant back to our hand, time wipe, 
and then pass. It also looks like our opponent has just given up on this game. Yeah. Well, they ran out. So. They got close. I uh, would definitely give them that. So. We'll take a, a, a quick second break. Uh, one pass away from getting the murder here. Wild card. Corvo. Nice. Alright. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Play any deck in standard Esper Control. I'll do one more game for you guys. Alright. So, as I said, I really, really like this list. Um, yeah. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to figure out how to get the overlay to work, and then we can just. And then I, I can have that, like, over in the corner. Probably be a lot easier to keep track of everything, too. That way you guys can see the entire deck list. It will cover up a little bit of the screen, but that's Alright, we are playing Basic Island. Best card in all of Magic. Um, this hand's fine. Castle Vantress, that's the one. We're going first. So, yeah, easy keep. We're missing white mana, but we have an option to look and a uh, pseudo scry in thought erasure. So it looks like mono black aggro. We're definitely going to want our board wipes. Well, oh, there's a time wipe. So we'll keep that. We're kind of far away from casting it, but that's alright. Uh, we are 100% getting rid of the Knights of the Avon Legion. Uh, that is not a land that we need, because we really need white mana. Also, I 100% should have played the Castle Vantress in case we draw a white mana for this Absorb. But, I'm bad at this game. Well, we didn't anyway, so... I guess now... We'll play the Watery Grave Tap, because this needs 3 mana. Uh, we're going to lose so much life, though. We really need a white source here. Yeah. Alright, well, we do it. One more, and... Time wipe it up. They make us discard with the big We're at five. I really hope they choose draw cards with the life. That is what we kinda need. Alright, yeah, that's fine. So we'll just get rid of one of these Castle Van Trust. Also, I cannot believe these are not legendary. Ugh, and we are just completely dead. Alright, we're going to do one more, because that was kind of Wait, like, we had the cards in our hand, we just we didn't draw our light sources, but it's all good. Alright, one more. seem like a ton of fun though. There's been a lot of uh, red black aggro going around. I mean really just aggro decks in general at the beginning of uh, standard formats are usually where everyone goes. Okay. This hand is not good and we are not going to keep this. We have two board wipes, but nope. <laughs> um sure. put Jace on the bottom. So 
So we're gonna lead a water grave shock in, get an opt, see if we can find another blue source for this orb. There it is. This again is looking like another uh So the problem here is I'm going to have to shock in this godless shrine. Oh, that's our one of Lily. Ah, uh, sure. We already have four lands. Ooh, under the goddess room. So we have to shock this in because if they try to play a Boko, uh, that's just going to beat us. So I really want to hold up this going Vita. Just in case. Next turn we also get to absorb, although again, we're going to have to shock. But if they try to play uh, Nissa next turn, uh, oh man. Uh, don't want it over the veto. Alright, we really need some board wipes. Uh oh. Yeah, we need a board wipe. Uh, <laughs> if we get the Lily, we get the negative two. This Enter the God Eternals will also be fine. Probably should be playing some Ritual of Soots. Maybe go down a couple of time limits. I honestly think that's probably what I would do uh, for the next, like, as, like, the upgrades of this deck. So many people are playing aggro decks now. I think it was a mistake on my part not playing any Ritual of Soots. So I'd probably go down... I'd probably go down to one time limit. So luckily we can I also didn't think they could probably be, they might be playing uh, counter spells in this. All right, cool. We have another uh, enter the God Eternals. What do you have maybe a bounce spell here? That's a good, that's good though, if they're doing that. Uh, 
drew another absorb. Alright, well, we're gonna do the God Eternals on this. Till then. 200 of the God Eternals is pretty good. What they might do here is. Ah, okay. I mean, that's fine. Oh, we got rid of the. Uh... Actually, got rid of some good stuff there. Wicked Wolf. Gracious Hydra. They're down two Hydroid Crates. Three Hydroid Crates. So that's nice. So now it's sacrificing the food token is it makes a four floor. That seems pretty good. Factor five. We really need a board wipe. That's not a board wipe. And we are just dead. Yeah, we're just dead. Oh, well, good game, opponent. And that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much. Like, like, subscribe if you want. See you guys.